Guess what time it is? It's our monthly collaboration time again. Yep, we're traveling on adventures, Errol and Terry. Mm -hmm. And Rhonda and Jim from R&J RV Adventures. Absolutely. All right, this month's topic is about traveling while sick, being sick. Yep, traveling while being sick. Yeah. And if you're a full time RVer, full time traveler, you know there's times you get sick, and what are you going to do? Yeah, definitely. Even if you're a part timer, um, you could have made your reservations, you could have had your route planned. Yeah. You could be, um, maybe you can't cancel your reservation, you decide, well, I'm going to go ahead and travel. I'm not feeling good but for me and Mel when we were traveling full time mm -hmm. and we ended up getting sick on the road yeah we realized that um, you need to find out where the hospitals are emergency room yeah. hospitals um, urgent cares and yeah. even for your pets yeah you have an emergency for your pets you need to you need to know every place you go you need to have that down because you never know when something's going to arise you're not going to know where to go. You're not going to have time to look things up. So you just need to be prepared. Yeah, get ready for the unexpected. Absolutely, because it's yeah. happened to us. And so yeah. ever since that incident, well, a couple of incidents, yeah. we uh, we decided to go ahead and find out where things at and, and yeah. all the towns that we were in. Mal ended up having a, an episode. We didn't know what was going on, and then we realized he had vertigo. Right. But with that said, you know, um, Four days in the hospital. Yeah, we had a call um, 911 because he wasn't able to even get up and walk. Right. And the ambulance came and picked him up when we were in a thousand trails. Right. So luckily, you know, at that time they took us to the nearest uh, location. But I didn't know where one was. You know, I never thought about looking right. for an ER, an urgent care, a hospital. Right. So that was a very scary situation. And by the time you got to lock everything and stuff, well, I was already gone. Yeah. And I had to figure out where they were taking it. Yeah, had to figure out where because they didn't they didn't say. Yeah. And that's the thing. I mean, when you're going through that type of emergency thing, um, you don't ask questions because uh, of the situation that's going on. Yeah. So you if you know ahead know. of time, yeah. then you know where to go. Yeah. You know? And then we had another situation with me, right. probably about a couple months after um, Mel got well. Right. And um, at that time, luckily, you know, we did scope the town out and we realized where the closest um, facility was. Right. And we ended up going to the ER for myself when right. I had a situation that arise. Right. But we also addressed um, your pets. When we first went full time, we actually, you know, we're living in our RV for roughly what four years before we hit the road full time yeah four years and yeah. then when we when mel retired officially retired and we hit the road we had a situation with our cat jack at the time right you know and um he wasn't well when we hit the road but we took him to the vet they gave us medication so we thought that's all he needed but um as soon as we made it to our destination yeah you know, he just got worse mm -hmm. and um we a, had no idea where a place was to take him. No, and then we did find a place. It was a small town. Yeah. They weren't capable of taking care of him. No, we had to run all the way into the city. Right. And uh, it was during the COVID time. Well, they wouldn't let you go in. No, and, and unfortunately, we ended up losing Jack. Right. You know, but he had a, a rare heart disease, right? Yeah. That we weren't unaware of. Yeah. So definitely, you need to do your homework. We highly suggest doing your homework on finding a facility for yourself yeah. and if you have pets. Yeah, and make yeah. sure you take uh, plenty of vitamins, vitamin C. You know, if you're traveling in different states, different areas, there's all kinds of stuff going around. So you make sure your immune system's up to par, extra yeah. strength, and you know, and make sure you have your doctor's appointments regularly. And, I, and that's the hardest thing when you're traveling is doctor's appointments and of course mail what we just yeah medication yeah. especially you know if if you're supposed to see your doctor every what six months six or months. so to, yep. to get your prescribed medication right. we we had problems um with that when we were full-time numerous our problems yeah yeah, yeah definitely yeah. so let us know in the comments have you ever had a situation you know where you got sick 
while traveling on the road and you don't even have to be an rv or you can just be you know in your vehicle and heading to say a destination like i don't know like florida or going to visit family uh, yeah. did you um end up getting sick while traveling or driving what did you do well that happened to us because prior to us going full time yeah. i got a call about my dad being in the hospital and wasn't doing too good and i had just gotten out of the hospital my myself the day before yeah mal, mal wasn't even well i wasn't even well but yeah here a. i am here i am driving to class a all the way from texas, texas to, to georgia, georgia. Yeah. So, I mean, you never know what's going to come up. So, things do happen. Yeah. And yeah. we'd like to know, you know, if you had any of these situations yeah. and what, what you did. Yeah. You know, and definitely um, find the closest areas if possible. Yeah. You, know, you may be, you know, in the boondocks or you may be boondocking and you're off grid, but. That's one of the most important things that you need to do when you get there yeah. is find the, the closest uh places to go for medical assistance yeah because yeah. even that you know even boondocking you know there's a lot of times it's so rural right just your surroundings you can be there can be like snakes scorpions things can happen right. where you end up needing medical care right but so, as yeah. Nettie said you know if you've gone through that stuff put it in the comments share with us we'd like to know yeah we would like to know and Wanna let us know what experience. you did yeah and with that said we appreciate you guys watching our collaboration videos we yeah. truly enjoy doing them every month yeah and after we, after watching us make sure you hit up the other two channels yep that collaborate with us i'm sure uh they have similar if not different different yeah views uh-huh and you can always learn something Yep, we do this on the last Thursday of the month, uh -huh. and we drop our videos at 6 p.m. Central. So please go check out Traveling on Adventures, yep. Earl and Terry, and also Rhonda and Jim from R&J RV Adventures. Yep. Thank you all for watching. We appreciate it. Yep, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. I just want to hold you. I just want to look into your eyes and tell you that I want you. You know you make me feel so alive. Stop thinking about your day and night Love it when you kiss me, love it when we touch Every time I'm down, yeah, you make me smile You're the solution